చేస్తే పని చేస్తుంది హలో 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 మీరు తీసేస్తే పని చేస్తుంది హలో హలో మైక్ టెస్టింగ్ మైక్ టెస్టింగ్ మైక్ టెస్టింగ్ is a tolerated protected and accepted by the religious man and then i become a thief all over the city find who is a thief i asked one of the judges there who visited me in goa i see a murderer lurking in you i got that high court judge in goa and he was taken aback when i made a statement like that he took it over sir i said and he said you are right if i were there in that situation i would probably do that in the same thing So anything we discuss here is a hypothetical situation. The aid they are giving, they need to say that they are really interested in creating a rival nation. What is the world community they are talking about? Only the, the empires and then the America, that's all. And for example, you see all those jokers sit there in the past bank there and they dictate how much they are going to pay for the chocolate they are getting from south of uh, african countries they dictate the price if you don't sell this for our price we are not going to buy they need chocolate to make chocolate there so what are we going to do huh? they dictate the price that's why yesterday i said the first thing we must do is to abolish the united nations so they are using you may say that you know you are talking some uh, all this is hot air and see on all that what business you have to express opinions i have opinions on everything my observations but i have found but what i do not want those people to do here in india is not to talk all the religious nonsense there are the value systems you are so proud of don't operate in your life he is a selfish man he agreed major you know you are a selfish man because it is the culture that has turned you into a spiritual man and that is not operating the life of the people here at all and you know one thing is there be a selfish man you see can we say like that uh, we were talking something what uh, rasha uh, this uh, anarchist was talking evolution of state society laws did they create a stateless society there they could not they could he not. talked about it they talk with the just now we are just now we are talking about democratic institution do they exist in the united states as long as you are not a threat they tolerate you the moment you become a threat they know how to dispose you of i give you an example is if my friend they tell you his parents were communists and they said when not one day he was there in the bank so he will be at the teller then he made some nasty remarks about reagan there was one old woman Behind him, she noted the address of this fellow. Mm. You see, and then uh, passed it down. The next day, the two fellows uh, showed up there. FBI, huh? FBI or something security. You know, so they know how to get rid of you. Hmm? Yeah. Yes. So why, why the hell you are talking about? I am just pointing out. They are not going to listen to that. You see, they will put forward. every kind of an argument to be what you are saying but uh, i am interested in pointing out to this fellow who is selfish to the very core of his being hmm? why he is mouthing these nonsensical things why he is talking of the value system it's like a parrot i like a selfish man be selfish to the very core of your being you and i can i am a selfish man you and i can relate ourselves and function sanely and intelligently if you put yourself on a higher level and say that you are a selfish man i am not interested but your actions are the actions of a selfish man i am going to make it hmm. you don't at all so i am talking to the individual who is the guy to impress me that he is interested in the value system that is something which god is it i am a thief Right? I'm a thief, so there are no thieves for me. I'm not interested whether you kill one cockroach or kill your best friend. As far as I'm concerned, killing is acceptable. But you define because you have uh, such a huge, monstrous body, huh? Huh? 
and then you weigh 168 kilos or 200 kilos, you talk all this nonsense about the value system, you are not important at all. As far as the nature is concerned, it is only interested in recycling these bodies to raise the energy level in this universe. So why do you kill this? And what is, why do you kill people in the name? I am not interested in the oneness of the country. What for? What is it that is common between him and me? I don't like the food he eats. I don't like what Mahesh eats. Balak Paneer and Gobi Palu. Anything that comes from the north. I am not uh, Andhra either. I will not stay in Andhra even if that uh, one day becomes an independent country. Right? So what I am saying is, these people just talk, 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 some nonsense. Value system is responsible for the tragedy of the whole world. So religion, we, we are not successfully eliminated the, the influence of religion. That is still talking about the non-existent gods and goddesses. And uh, the second thing is, you see, if you, not that there is any evolution or any such thing, and the monarchy destroyed to some extent. The stranglehold, they have not destroyed the church, but they, because I believe in church, I go to the church and that bastard, whatever he says before, mm -hmm. and even today the people don't want to believe that he has AIDS. Right? And the church made a statement, Vatican church made a statement saying that when he was uh, shot, he had some blood transfusion that was responsible for the HIV infection. All right, so why you don't accept the fact that he is here? Huh? He has AIDS. What, what is wrong with it? That's why I said, uh, you know, he has AIDS. He is homosexual, he is bisexual, multisexual. Why <laughs> multisexual is he? No, he has sex with the mosquitoes, with the pigs, with the dogs, with the cats. That may be an exaggeration, you know. Same this fellow, Sai Baba. People don't want to accept the fact that he is a homosexual. If the sex is there, personally I don't care whether he is a homosexual, multisexual, bisexual or lesbian. People still don't want to believe that Teresa Pitch is a lesbian. All right? And so when she visited Rome, she actually ran away when the plague broke down. And they quarantined that bitch there. Even. So she wanted to run away. She was the first one to run away from this country. You understand? They all told me, why you are going away? I said, I'm not, uh, I don't want to get stuck here in this country. Plague is not really the problem for me. You know? So I didn't want to get stuck here because they were cancelling all the air and flights and all that kind of things and I don't want to stay here. I'm going to get So, why they don't accept that bitch can talk against abortion and all that kind of thing. And she didn't have to have children because she was a lesbian. And uh, British television will not hint those things unless they have some uh, proof to do that. But these people don't believe all that kind of thing. They don't believe that the Sai Baba is a homosexual. I met that woman there in New Zealand. They chased her. He wanted to expose her. She. You know, she was hiding there in Tiruvannamalai, uh, and then she's there in New Zealand. She met me, and she was crying. She said, this was my fate today. You know the story. Here, what happened when uh, four boys were killed? You uh, tell him the story. Mm -hmm. huh? so, one of those killed uh, visited me several times here. They thought, you see, especially Andhra police are the worst police. One of those uh, four boys. Ask him. They were, he was coming to UG. And then he was uh, killed. He was one of the victims of the... Police fire. Police killed, huh? Yeah. Police killed. There, police the open fire. Open fire on want... these innocent boys inside, and they created the story that they wanted to come. They, they came with all dagger and, and all those things. And Nonsense. Wanted so he them. wanted to molest them, the boys. Bravo they wanted to that. expose them. So he called the police, and the bastard escaped. And so they, they were killed by the police. One of them is escaped. Now is about this. Huh? Yeah, How oh, they arrested poor Janasekar and Suguna here? Oh. Huh? No, because one of the suspects uh, who oh, uh, escaped afterwards, they had no, no, he has my book. He read, he read you know, his books. And then the Telugu papers, uh, the first, uh, some, some friend in Telugu, Andhra, he wrote to me that uh, it seems uh, UG's books were also found there. I am sending you the paper cutting. So be careful about that. After uh, three or four days, there is a call from the Andhra police. They came here and then uh, they go hold uh, nearly to three, four hours. They were here, they searched the whole house, uh, interrogated me, my wife, and everybody here around, and so many things. There was a question about UG, 
about the Minister Prime Minister Chandrasekhar. How do you know Prime Minister Chandrasekhar? They asked. Then uh, how do you know Yuji Krishnamurti? When does he come? When did he come last time? This man whom we are suspecting as absconding, that fellow has met Yuji. We have got very strong proof for that. And they have complete record of Yuji's uh, to this country for the past four or five years. They must have collected from this. They must have collected. They are all true collected because when I started blasting Jay Krishnamurti, that big Chindra Gandhi tried so hard to get me and backed by the people Jay Kapit. Mm. They could not believe. He knows that the, the fellow was always with me. The, uh, what do you call him? Huh? Yeah. Follow you. Follow you. Yes. Uh, Pretending that he was interested in what I was doing. Seema was very dangerous. Seema was very dangerous lady. No, I know that. I'm just to tell you, right from 1972, the police of Karnataka had to be complete fire with you. Okay. Yeah, you know, all the foreigners were coming and living with me. I don't give a damn for them. What do I care? <laughs> so, but they, you see, they can plant something here, you see, some cocaine or something else, and they can get me. It's very easy. I am not a frightened man. What can they do to me? They want me to me. They could not do anything for me there in uh, America. Those were the days of Nathardi. Uh, I blasted America at that time. Yeah. And I was blasting also anybody who said anything against America was uh, coming. So when I was there in Russia, I blasted you see, KGB people, everybody. There. So the KGB girl followed me everywhere. She even wanted to seduce me to find out whether I had any links with the CIA. Would you believe that? Mm. In Russia, I don't care, you see. What I am saying is that I, they thought that I was a CIA man there and they thought that I was a KGB man there. Yes, yes, God knows. So yes, why should Ra be interested? When my Mahesh, but uh, this is the most interesting thing. Yes, Ra fellow approached in Mahesh Bhatt and uh, told him, see, lately I have been reading all your books, watching your movies, doing all these things and interested in you. Where do you get that spark up in your interviews and uh, in your interviews? He said, Yuji. Do you know the response of that fellow? Oh, we know all about Yuji. That was his remark. And later on he found out that there was a rock. He said, rock. Huh? So I am not uh, uh, frightened of any of these people anywhere in the world. Any also these are so bastard. Whenever I go to Chinese embassy, they note down my car number. Yeah. Evening they call my secretary when I do from Andhra. She is my secretary there in my office. And she is very traveling lady. She was the secretary of the minister in Nairu, Pacific country. She told me, Mr. Bulla, somebody was asking that your car was there and you made accident. I said, no accident was there. Then when I came to office, police people rang me. Mr. Bulla, your car number is with Yes, I have car number is with You can find out from uh, transport department and most people. My name is there. But you want to know. Uh, your car met us and you did not stop. But I have not made any... Why should I stop when your car is there? And I understand you are from police department, nothing more than that. And I went to Chinese embassy. This is also correct. I have friends there. And I have a city citizen. I have right to meet them. I have gone to China also. Nothing wrong. No, no, no. We wanted to... Whom you know? Like, yeah, not necessary. I should disclose you. I am not government servant like you. I am private person. So they harassed these people, sir, for three days, something like that. And then when they saw my bedroom there, yeah. and they said, this is the room where that man sleeps. And In China also, the same thing. Of China, when I went there, on government invitation, I called meeting of 15 countries when it did in the conference present there. And I sent facts from the hotel to all news agencies also, including BBC and CNN and all wrote that uh, I am calling this meeting to decide future course of action for developing countries. Like Number of Chinese uh, and foreign distributors came, so what you are doing? Said, okay, I am doing, uh, I am invited, I am doing, and uh, if it's it, I can meet anybody. You are not providing me. So, BBC one girl, now she is a very senior journalist. She asked me so many questions. Then one Indian journalist, PTI man came. She asked me, what to say about Kashmir? Said, Kashmir should go, become an independent, but go. Go, what you are saying? You are attorney general, but like he is government employee. He will speak whatever government wants, but I am not. Uh, so all Chinese paper, Hong Kong paper reported, uh, IJO president, Mr. Brilla, said that uh, Kashmir or any other state should, can become independent. People are, are interested for independence. Why you are stopping them? Then uh, Soli Sorabji came, Mr. Brilla. Then I spoke. I mean, this BPC government is bastard. What right they have to ban this book of Salman Rushdie? They have no right to uh, banning book. 
This is not for a bit of a student. They are being guided by these mullahs only. Nothing more than that. Okay. And I disagree. This man is uh, representing the government of India. So he calls himself a uh, civil liberties person. Sony Sorat is passing. I don't know anything about India. <laughs> <laughs> so wherever you go, what I am saying, I give interview. I will give you copy of the interview. Yes. Yes. Start with us or against us. Yes. We started with the church. And then sovereignty thing is another thing which people are asking. Right? You have said correct also. Sovereignty is not some sacred thing we should worship or anything. Sovereignty is created by ruling class. Why you should salute the flag? I want to know. And you have a flag. Pakistan has a flag, and they wave their flag there, and you wave your flag here. Huh? I contested yeah. because of the how much fitness. What nonsense! The people it don't is. worship when the. And it is all right for you to go and uh, separate. Uh, Pakistan and Bangladesh. If they try to separate your Kashmir, what nonsense it is! Why you are objecting to it? It's for the people to decide. If they don't want, 90% of the people are. I don't know what the actual figure is. They are Muslims in Kashmir. Huh? In Kashmir. And what you did there in Hyderabad? How you justify that? Although I say I appreciated the boldness of Sardar Patel. If Nehru had his own way, he would have created 600 countries here. I'm telling you. What arrogance, sir, Nehru? Boy, he was worse than Julius Caesar. I don't know if you ever met that bastard. Yeah, no, no. no boy. Okay. I heard him once only. Yeah. Let's go. I don't bother to see him. It was Radha Krishna that dragged me. You see, I'm walking in America, getting lectures here. Raising the... Hello? What's happening? I don't care whether it is BJP or Shiv Sena, what do I care? That fellow is the chief minister, you see? Hmm, Madhu Joshi. So what is that? BJP and Shiv Sena alliance is there. Shiv Sena got highest speeds. And it? How can Madhu Joshi get to the people's speeds there? Hey, Sip Sena. Ministry for? BJP. Joshi? Yeah. No, Joshi, Sip Sena. Sip Sena, man. Right hand of Bal Thakre. Sip Sena, Chief. Mahal Joshi. Sip Sena, Chief. Sip Sena, Chief. Now, the only remark I made about Sai Baba in my conversation is with people. They asked me this question. They were there. And look here, you see. They warned me. Yeah, all my friends. You can say anything. Don't say anything. Jay Krishna Murthy about all these people, but don't say anything again. Sai Baba is a very influential man. He has a very powerful man in the high offices here. I am not interested, you see. He has dragged everybody. Now, then I made a remark. You see, two things, if there is... I don't see how it is possible to materialize things, number one, from what we know of scientific laws. It is just not possible. If he is in the know of certain divine laws, it is very essential for that man to help all these scientists to put them on the right track. This is the one remark. I don't know if there is anything to this. And uh, let me give you an example. He was materializing Swiss watches, uh, Seiko watches in Japan. When Indira Gandhi succeeded in stopping all smuggling into this country, he switched over to HMP watches. That's all. You can read from whatever you want. Read from them. That's the only remark that is there in my books. Nothing else. So if he's an avatar, you see, health is a scientist. If you are in the know of divine laws, as far as I know, there are no divine laws at all. Huh? He says there is no need of scientists. He is having the divine power. He uh, wants let to. him use it and save this world, help this uh -huh. world. Why is there poverty here? He can build hundred hospitals. I am not interested. He can manufacture this state record. I am not interested. I am not interested. He knows, but he does not want to misuse his power. He is using. He is misusing. He is misusing, he is misusing all these boys. <laughs> That's all. It's all religious people are misusing. <coughs> Why? In the United States, the Catholic Church has collected $20 million and paid those boys who are molested by them, you know, to hush them up. Why don't they walk out? You see, it's an easy living, sir, for them. <laughs> easy living. Same is the case with the politicians today. In huh? Jesus Christ was also born there. He was the first bastard. 
<laughs> you believe in Virgin Mary? No. <laughs> That's what I said in the, on the day. TV interview. If you believe in uh, Virgin Mary, you will believe all the commercials and take them seriously and buy those things. <laughs> no? Where is the clock here? No problem. Oh, so you have an appointment to some JTC? No, no. So when I am in Bombay, we will regard some huh. yes. No, this, is, this is my basic, uh, I don't like to use the word possession or anything, that uh, I am talking to this individual and I don't give a damn for mankind, humanity at all. You see, why mankind, humanity and those empty phrases have become important for us because we all believe in permanence. Since I know that I am coming to an end, you project it on the mankind. Mankind, why the hell mankind should survive, I want to know. Thank God there are uh, no such thing as divine loss at all. Otherwise, what they have done, these Western nations to the whole world, do you think they would be tolerated by divine loss? They would have wiped out all of them from the face of this earth. Thank God there are no divine loss, no other loss other than the loss you liars have perpetrated on mankind. Nothing else. It's a theater. You are law folks. I'm sorry, sir. It's a theater. You, you watch that. I'm very curious to watch this, uh, the LA law and civil law programs there in the United States. Fantastic. Only entertainment. That's all. Nothing else. So it is it's the outgrowth. You see, religious people have failed by putting the, the idea that uh, you, you you are committing sin. Law is nothing what they call engineering of social, society. And law, by whom? Ganged up all those people, huh? created a law, and you are forcing it on me. By force only. By force only. Law has Ultimately a, it is force. Yes. I am not Advantage a, of As force. far as I am concerned, I would give a tinker's damn. But I will never buy, do anything... Uh, against the court, legal courts of conduct. I will never go to the court because I don't have any need for me to go to the court to claim anything. You know? So, but you, you can haul me up into the court because you have done this, you have done that. It's your privilege. I can't do anything about it. Any punishment you give, I will very gladly accept. No argument, I don't need. This is it. And so, law. ignorance of law is no excuse, I accept it. I am supposed to know. Not only that, I have come from a family of lawyers. The first one to break the great tradition of law. Even my grandfather once told me, he said, we were discussing the marriage. My marriage. He started, uh, he was a very famous lawyer, very wealthy lawyer. He, even in those days he had... Uh, the district? Uh, Krishna district, Guruvada. And uh, so he was, he was discussing, I don't have enough money to marry and raise a family. And he said, I have provided in my will. And he would be one of the richest people here, you see. With, uh, <laughs> I said, I don't trust you, buddy. I didn't say buddy. You can go inside and change the will. <laughs> huh? <laughs> give it to me. On the table, on the barrel, whatever you want to give me, give me now. Ah, not it. By will. I don't trust him. <laughs> he was surprised, this fellow. A 14 year, 16 year old fellow demanding that he should give it now. <laughs> what, sir? I don't trust you. <laughs> you know, He's like also dependent on bill only. <laughs> huh? oh, some brothers are giving some I, key only. I was telling you this morning, sir. <laughs> they don't want to throw that fellow, the caretaker out. <laughs> he has been in, uh, known to the family for 40 years. They want this guy to do the dirty job. Huh? So when once he is in position of that property, he won't do anything. They don't have to do anything. So it is a delay tactics on the part of those flower bastards. And uh, the property will, value will increase. Will increase. Huh? Or I told him I will go there and bid. <laughs> Guarantee. Come. We'll do it. <laughs> huh? <laughs> <laughs> and he has to again arrange all these things. Sir. What? He has to go to because already decided. Yes, to um, make arrangements for this. He is not going to do anything, nothing is going to happen, I am telling you. That's why they are also waiting. Yeah, that's why they handed over the guys. And who are they? Roland is there, they will just keep waiting. That's all. No. <laughs> 
Sir, I lived with criminals. International criminals. You know, I was telling you the story, sir. I was in London. Standing outside my apartment, I was at that time living in a basement. It was open. And two escaped convicts, murderers from jail, they were running and the police were chasing. And when they saw my door open, they entered. Entered. The police didn't know this, that. So they continued. And then I went downstairs and I asked them, well, what are you doing here? We have just escaped. We haven't had anything to eat. <coughs> All night we have been running. I said, open the, the fridge and eat whatever you want. If you want, I can even fix something, some curried rice or something. I offered it. And then uh, we ate it. And after three hours, they went away. And they were caught finally. They have some integrity. If they mentioned where they were hiding, they would have implicated me. They didn't do that. They didn't do that, they didn't even mention that at all. You know? They have some kind of an integrity. The religious man doesn't have. He just talks, talks, talks. You know? Once they asked me, Sir, uh, is it true that Parvin Babi has a lot of money in uh, a Swiss bank? And so why are you asking me that question? You ask her. And if you have some way of finding it out, set in motion uh, the ways and means of finding out whether she has money. So you are a, an enlightened man, you are a truthful man. Huh? You tell us. I say, I am not a truthful man, number one. And what is your interest? You want to destroy her. Huh? By telling the income tax people and writing it in the newspapers, you are going to destroy that woman. Right? Why are you asking me? I am not a truthful man. So these people, just for the sake of telling truth, they tell lies. Huh? If he's a truthful man, he has no business to harm somebody else. Just for the sake of telling the truth. I give you one example. This man, I wanted an extension of visa here. And him was also here. So both of them went there and asked the, the, the immigration fellow, whatever you want to call him, UG and uh, Valentine, this fellow, they are leaving this evening. <laughs> and so do everything possible to give the extension of visa now. So he, that, that fellow who was standing, the truthful man, no, 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 we are not going tonight, we will go next week, I will come. <laughs> he put this fellow in a very awkward situation and that bastard claimed that he was a truthful man. What nonsense it is. Huh? What nonsense it is. And they were coming and so some car was stuck there, the good gooders. Hot huh? So he got up, jumped out of that to, to help that fellow Sorry, to push the car, leaving him there. And, and the same thing happened in Canada. Right. Same thing happened in Los Angeles. He even offered to drive her home. And she suspected this fellow. No, I asked my brother, he would take it. Except she suspected. <laughs> <laughs> this fellow colored with fellow <laughs> offering to drive her home and leaving Valentine and me <laughs> in our car. Huh? They are the do-gooders. He is also a do-gooder. If he is doing charity, I am telling him it is a guilt complex you have and that is responsible for your charity. He is a do-gooder, a boy scout. He wants to win some brownie points. That's all he is interested in. Apatadana Mahapapa. Since you are not awarding brownies to me, huh, why should you get, why should you feel bad about this? It guy? is not genuine. You know you are a very close fisted man. Yes. You don't part with money. Yes, yes. yes. And why you are giving to that John Peter, huh? who has more expensive clothes than you have. Sir, Peter's case is very delicate one. Let us not discuss. So anytime anybody comes knocking on my car door, I tell him, go to Narsimha He is there to give you, to take care of you. Not me. No, I don't believe in charity. I give charity sometimes you drop some money, you see, because the coins are a nuisance in my pocket. Whenever he asks in charity of India, Narsimha is going to give India in charity to others? Why not? He can give anything. He, he can give yes, nothing to do. He's having only the Persian, no, but no, he's but not he, the sole owner. No, but not India. the owner. I'm not talking of India. I'm talking about helping the people. That's all. They are starving there. He's supposed to... So what is he there? Are no, no, not India. India, they will forcibly... That's what I say. 
there in the book somewhere, if Bhutan invades India, India has no chance of winning the war. Bhutan is not going to do it unless it is backed by some powerful nation. And we had people like him in the Indian army. <laughs> you see, the, as I see it, sir, India has no way of playing any meaningful, any significant role in the affairs of the world. That is number one. Number two, all this talk of spirituality is gibberish because it doesn't operate in the lives of the people. Number three, if you want this country to be... And this country cannot produce a Not a chance. Not a chance. I think we are highly fortunate in that regard. Not at all. We have the most of the world. not produce a most of things. That's very clear. Yeah. Highly cultured nation. Yeah. No, no, no. This was much more cultured than your filthy country. Don't tell me that China. You saw that book. They had the guts to fall with a, a dried up toilet paper. And that the fellow, the founder of um, Zen Buddhism, a stinking barbarian, a sixth century monk said that about Buddha. You don't have the guts to do that. And if all you are so proud, it doesn't operate in your life. No, communism. Not all of years of Muslim rule does not convert to They did not more. The whole of Persia has converted in 50 years. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. They rule this country. They don't have nonsense. They remain, they remain in this country. And then it is this country. Oh, they are seeking enrichment. What are these policies you have? What are these bastards? Because they are proud of this country of honey and gold. What are you? No, I tell you, what has this bastard Mehru done to this country and his that. family? <laughs> sir, you know, sir, what he is doing? How could this bastard have his family? Hey, come on, don't talk that nonsense. <laughs> when I was there with the Mehru, I told him the first thing, if I were there in the parliament, I would have shot him dead. What? He said. You, blood was flowing there in Assam. You talk there in the parliament saying that I am helpless. What are you there for? Huh? So how much money the Britishers looted, you know that? Mm. He wanted to be very nice. He allowed them to sell all the coffee plantations and they took the money out of this country. Number one. Number two, all the newspapers, everything, all the British forms money huh? disappeared. Why he did all that? And he says that, you see, the Muslims have contributed tremendous things to the culture of India. Tremendous things. The Pashtuns are alone. He looted so much wealth. They, they he did not tax his people for three years after Indian invasion. Come on, sir. They have loaded this country and made it a poor country. Yeah. They, 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 only they want to be a walk for the world to stop the Britishers yes, sir. and the Americans and the whole Western nations in their tracks. He is in the life. fundamental of people come to you. Yeah. Yeah. Shoot all those Pashtuns. Now, if China cannot do that, some thing happens and China collapses, you can be sure that the hope is in the fundamentalist Muslims and not in any other nation, to stop them in their tracks. That is very essential. Otherwise they will blackmail you, they will harass you, they will do everything possible. You know that fellow, Clinton was showing Motorola. The Japanese Prime Minister was there. We are now going to do all these things, this, that and the other. He didn't do a thing. Huh? Nothing. He was so firm that the Japanese Prime Minister. This master is a prostitute, your Prime Minister. Don't tell me that. Prostitute. The worst thing. Opening the doors, I was telling him, the aid will not come, the AIDS will come into this country. That's what you deserve for what you have done to the mankind here in this country. Sorry. Let you justify the poverty in this country, you are individually responsible by giving charity to the fellow. <laughs> Otherwise, he will come and shoot this bastard and take everything he has. Yes. That's all. That's what you are preventing. That's what these people are responsible. Every Indian is very proud of doing charity. What charity? What sir? Doing nothing charity. He has more than he needs. That's a giveaway. Not guilt complex. Oh. <laughs> you are a guilt-ridden bastard. Sorry. Get to that. Bastard even. I am at least starting with my money, sir. For your own time, it's a pleasure. Whatever be the cause. Not the only cause.